Hi guys, Mike from Dirty Dog here. We're here to show you how to install a uh, headliner for a soft top on a Ford Bronco. Um, this is the winter headliner, basically uh, cuts down on noise and keeps the heat in. A little, a little combination of everything for you. So um, this is our second install video. We've just done some changes on the, the, uh, the brackets. So I'm just re uh, going over the brackets again with you and a quick install and show you how to install it without completely moving the rear windows. Um, generally the easiest way is to take the windows off, put the, put the roof right back. If you don't want to take the roofs off, uh, the windows off, being winter time is tougher to get on and off. You can do that, we're gonna show you the more difficult. It's not difficult, it's just gotta work your hands in, in areas where it's a little tougher to do with the roofs on. But we're gonna just fold the roof back and we're gonna start with the brackets. So in, in your kit you're gonna have um, three brackets here, uh, you're gonna have the L-shaped one, pretty obvious l shape. You're gonna have uh, this one, it's flat on the bottom. It's got your slot in the top, very simple. And the other one that we have here is, where'd it go? This one that looks the same as the last one, sort of with the slot on the top, but there's an offset on the bottom here. So it sits a little higher, it lifts it off. The, now, if you have generation one brackets, um, they look somewhat similar. They have an offset on, on them as well too. Um, you have, this is the gen one bracket looks like that compared to this one here and then your L-shaped bracket looks very similar we've just what we've done is we've just beefed up the brackets because we're going to be using these same brackets on our um, sunscreen so sunscreens you got to pull on a lot tighter and take a lot more torque on them so you know we've decided just to put a, a stronger bracket on it and and anyone that has these gen one if you're worried about them they're not they're warranty for you don't worry or keep them warranty for you but anyone receiving them now is going to come with these gen, gen 2 brackets so um, just to install them, we're going to take. We're going to start with uh, the front here. We've got uh, two on either side where our clamp is for our, our soft top roof, and we've got three brackets down the, the side of the roll bars on each side. So we'll go and we'll start at the very front one here. So uh, when you're taking these ones off, just do one at a time because you don't want to change the adjustment on your your roof lashes because what happens is your your roof latches onto this metal uh, bracket that we're loosening off. So you just put one on, crank it on tight again, do the next one. You don't have to worry about changing adjustments. So you're going to start with this flat one here with the offset on the bottom. So in which this, when this goes on, you're going to put it on. This is going to face towards the uh, outside of the vehicle. And you're going to put that in place. And if you notice, there's a sort of a elongated hole in this one. So and the reason that is is, that, is so you can push it more towards the front of the vehicle because what happens, the roof closes, the, the pin goes through here. And if, if, it's, if, it's, if this bracket's in the way, the pin's going to hit it. You won't be able to lock your roof down. So when you put this in place, Put it back in. Use one finger to, to, uh, to tighten the, uh, um, uh, to hold the, the bracket forward and just tighten it out. And you don't have to over torque them. You just torque on hand tight. You're using your wrench that comes with your kit with the little sock with the um, uh, Torx bit. You apply that right in, in your uh, Jeep kit. Uh, we're gonna do this one as well, the next one. So the next one is going to be, loosen that one off. And you're gonna take a flat one here with no offset on it, and this one's gonna face forward. So the, the slot's gonna face forward in the vehicle. So just tighten that one up. There it is. So you got you got the one bracket facing that way, the other one facing this way. Uh, the next one you're going to do back is uh, the first cutout slot on your roll bar here. Now that is an eight millimeter socket. I'm told there is a couple different sizes. I know if Ford ran into um, problems with the uh, materials as well too, and has switched some bolts, but we provide an eight millimeter for bolt for which you fit on our, 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 a socket that goes onto your wrench. Um, this socket may be metal or it may be composite. It just depends on what's available for us to get. Again, supply chain problems have always been fun. So we're just gonna loosen this one off. Okay, so now you're gonna take your L-shaped bracket like this. This is gonna go on there, crank it on. Take the 
wrench. And that one's in place. So there you got three on there. Your next one back is going to be another one of these flat ones. No offset. So now, depending on your vehicle, from what I see, most vehicles come with this bracket. It's, it's a hard top bracket. Apparently some haven't come with it. So if you don't have the center bolt here, like you see here, that I'm taking out, you're gonna basically just, we provided a, an eight millimeter bolt that, uh, or an M10 bolt, I believe it goes in there in, in your kit. So you can use the, the bolt we have here. So this one goes in. So now your bracket, this bracket is gonna face in now. So you can face this one in. So put that one in. Tighten her up. Make sure it's straight and then we tighten it. Okay, so that's in. So now you got your one, two, three, four. Your fifth one we're gonna show on the back here. I'm gonna see if I can, uh, it basically it's this same bracket that's gonna be cut on the back here. So I'll just do a quick little shot of how we got it in there. You can see we've already installed it here just so you see, but this bracket just goes right here and this little cut out the back. So I'll pull that up for you. And it's right there, it's the same bracket. That was on the uh, on the front L-shaped bracket goes right here, and you're going to do the same thing. Put that one on, tie it up, crank it in tight, and so here we want to pause the video. Go do your other side of the vehicle, and then we're going to start with the installation. Okay, okay so we're in the vehicle now. That you're done with the the tool part of the installation. Now we're going to install it. So what I've done, I've I've opened it up. Um, when you play, you can sort of spread out over the front seats. Make sure your straps that are that are sewn on, they're hanging on the inside. Sort of the soft nylon is on the inside, the uh, shinier texture with the, uh, with the waterproofing is on the outside. So in the back is this little uh, flap here that's zippered on. So undo your zipper and what you're going to do is you're going to put this over top of the rear roll bar and you're going to zip it up. So we're just going to pull that across, wrap it around. Find your zipper. You can center, you can tell where center is, where your light is and lines up. And that's, that's, it's really easy from this part on how to, how to go ahead and do it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the front and we're gonna do our straps. And uh, we'll go start at the front and work our way all the way to the back. So let's go up to the front and show you the first straps to put on. So we're gonna start up here at the front corner of, of both sides. And what you want to do is you're going to do equally on one side what you're going to do on the other side. It's the same on both sides. So what you've got, you've got uh, uh, a couple straps in the front here. First one you're going to grab is one shooting right forward. You're going to put it through that one bracket we installed. And this gives you good, good visual here how we install the brackets so you can see the position of them. So you're going to put that through, push it through forward, flip it around, and you're going to feed it to the ladder lock. And... Uh, those of you that want to see how the lateral lock works, give me a second here, let me tighten this one up. So there's your one in place, let me show you the ladder lock. Those of you that don't know how a ladder lock works, yeah, you got, that's your ladder lock there. And so you got your center hole here, so you're going to come into the bottom and feed it, wrap it around, feed it through the hole at the end. And that's your ladder lock there. That's how it's held on. So easy. And to loosen the ladder locks off, you just lift that up and then she opens up on you. All right? Okay. So, so now we've got this one installed. You've got uh, this one you can crank on pretty tight. It's, in, it's pretty much in place. You don't have to, again, you don't want to distort it. This is, it's not going anywhere. It's sitting underneath your soft top. So it's not like it's going to be flopping around flying anywhere. So um, put it, just th throw it on and, you know, you'll, you'll, get, you'll get a feel for it. Going any tighter, all you can do is stretch the material. You're not going to really do anything uh, to the favor. This one, just a simple Velcro. Again, doesn't need to be full hard. It's more or less just there to keep it in place. It doesn't really do any holding per se in place. So um, go do the same on the other side, which I'll just quickly run over and do. So we've installed the front uh, straps uh, on. So you've got a nice even pull all the way across. Now what we're going to do is these uh, inside here, are the ones along the side we've got to install with these straps on the inside. So when you're installing these straps on the inside, you're not coming, you're coming through 
up and around, you're coming over and you're feeding it down. I, what I would do is you're on the outside of the vehicle here, just do that with all your three straps all the way down. You're just gonna feed it from the outside and down into the vehicle. And we'll go in the vehicle and show you how to do it. Now, the one in the back here, let's see if I can tilt this. Don't mind the mess in the back. One here in the back, you're gonna to have to sort of feel with your hand uh, where the bracket is and where your, your strap is. So this just takes a little more. If you wanna see the, the, there's the other video that shows where it is with the roof off, but it's, it goes on the same way as the front one. You just gotta feel where the strap is. You're putting the strap into the outside of the vehicle. In. And pulling it through. So once that's set in place, So we're going to go do the other side of the vehicle and then we're going to go down and I'll meet you inside and we'll show you how to tighten the straps up from there. So we're now we're inside the vehicle. So what you're going to find now is your, uh, your straps that you've all tucked in, they're all hanging here and they're going to line up with these ladder locks. And they go through the same way. You tighten them up, put them in. Now I would probably uh, not tighten them up post. You sort of want to make sure they're centered because you pull one side too tight, you're going to have your your magnetic strip on the outside here, you want to make sure it's centered. So you can sort of center it beforehand to make sure you get it in place, but basically snug them up. We do both sides. Give them a little snug up. And then I kind of pull equally on both sides. And you can look from the inside here, see if you're lined up in the center or not, and, and see where you're positioned properly. So once you get that in place, you're going to go back, you're going to do the same one. This is the one directly over your head you can do on both sides. And you're going to go do the one in the back as well. So and put these two on. Real easy install. And those brackets can stay on. So if you want to take this on and off, easy to take on and off. You can leave those brackets in place. And this is you basically just got your, your, four, your, your three straps on the inside and a couple straps on the top and it comes apart really easily. So uh, before we switch to the back, you're going to have the strap hanging here. So what you want to do is you're just gonna push it back through the ladder lock and you kind of tuck it up over top of it. There's like a, you can just pull it through there and tuck it up. It's just a nice clean way to finish this off. You can do that all the way around, stick it in, tuck it up there, nice and clean out of the way and it stays out of your way. So let's go to the back here. We're gonna put the back ones in. Our back ones, so the same thing. We're just gonna ladder lock. Pull it tight, not too tight. I got, I got to make sure I don't over tight. I got it my other side set. This one. So that's it for your strap and saw. So all you really want to do is after this is we're going to come outside here. We'll take a look around. Let me grab the... So what you got here is you got your magnetic strip here and it just holds it down. So I'm sure you're equally positioned on both sides. Let's see how we do it. And when you're doing it with your, with your roof up, just make sure you tuck it down because what happens is because the magnets have a tendency to want to stick to the magnet of the frame. So just make sure it gets tucked in and closed down and that's it. And your install is done after that. That's uh, you're ready to go. Uh, also, when you close the roof, because we made it as tight as possible, there is, uh, you know, you take your, don't slam the roof down on it. You want to take your time, close it, make sure the brackets aren't going to tear your push through there. We, you know, we can leave a bigger space there. We choose not to because we want the seal. This for people in the winter time and definitely keep your noise down. So, anyways, uh, you can always ask us questions. If anything about this? Give us a, a, a shout at Dirty Dog. And uh, other than that, enjoy your your. Uh, your soundproofing and heat warmth for the, the warmth for the winter. All right, have a good day.